everyone and welcome back. I'm Tian Eagle. This is episode 9 of our Road to Division 1. And we're doing okay still. We're, we're still fiddling with uh, formations. And right now our formation du jour is the 4-2-2-2. And you can see here we're going to jump in with our BPL squad with Balotelli and Sturge. If you remember, I did have Falcao and I did sell him on. Uh, probably not the best investment for him. I think he's really the only player that I haven't made a good amount of coins with when I sold him, but uh, we did get rid of him nonetheless. So we will see how we do with the Balotelli and Sturridge combination up front. And we will start this game off against a pretty nice Bundesliga side with uh, Adrian Ramos. And he's also got Ribery and Lewandowski on loan. Ramos, is, uh, he does seem to be a pretty decent player. He's obviously pacey, which makes him uh, valuable in this year's edition of FIFA. His finishing, so-so. Uh, and you can see here in the first half, nothing really going on uh, for either side. So the first half would end still at a nil-nil draw. And then we'll get going here in the second half. And right off of kickoff, you know, I'm trying to kind of run up the middle there. And uh, didn't get much going. But... Um, from that, we will actually get a pretty nice counter attempt here, and we'll move it ahead with Daniel Sturridge, and he will just pop it right around the keeper for a 1-0 lead. And, uh, you know, Sturridge right now, for me, is just phenomenal. Obviously, you know, I mean, he's, he's pacey, which makes him good, but, uh, you know, his finishing is, is just solid. I mean, his finesse shots are phenomenal, uh, and anything really in the box, he is going to do very well. But you can see uh, our opponent comes right back in the 52nd minute, and he will tie it up at one apiece. A pretty nice goal there uh, from him. But then we'll get another opportunity here. A nice fake shot there from Balotelli to give us some space. And he will knock that in with the right foot to give us a 2-1 advantage. Balotelli, uh, you know, not great, not bad. I think I'm kind of indifferent on him right now. Um, he's definitely, you know, as far as finishing, I don't think quite as solid as, as Daniel Sturridge, but uh, it was a really nice finish for him there uh, to be able to get in. And we'll look at all three of those because our opponent made us look at all three of his, which I guess is a little childish, but that's that's what we do in FIFA sometimes. Uh, but we will take the 2-1 lead. And then here, uh, thank you very much. I just hand over a gift, and that will square up the game at two apiece. And... I was not happy at that point. I mean, I had the game pretty well in hand and just handed handed over a goal, and uh, that will end up in a draw. So not a good way, really, for that game to end, uh, basically giving away two points that we could have had here in Division 7. So, you know, what are you going to do? But uh, we'll just move ahead. You can see we are now uh, one win, one draw in Division, thanks to that mishap from our keeper. And then we're going to move in with our Serie A side again in the 4-2-2-2. And we'll see what we can do in this matchup. And again, you know, this side, I, you know, Barbo is all the rage. I I don't know. I, I'm not overly impressed with him. Uh, but we'll come up against a pretty nice BPL 3-5-2 side. He does have Lukaku and Benteke up front, along with Walcott on the outside. Uh, mostly the notable players that you'll have in this game. So we will jump into this one at Kingpot Stadium, and we will get things going here right after halftime. Again, nothing going in the first half, but then a really nice finish here uh, from my opponent with the finesse shot in the box to put us down 1-0. And that was Lukaku with that finish, but a really nice finish from him there. And then here we'll get the ball with Calione on the outside. We're going to do a couple fake shots and move in and just nip it around the keeper there. I think, really think if Peter brought his keeper out, uh, a little more quickly, he probably would have stopped that shot fairly easily, but he did not, and we will take it to even up the game at one apiece in the 82nd minute. And again, just a couple nice moves there from Calione, but anything that close in with the keeper, and they, if they don't bring a keeper out, that's not going to be a good result for them. But uh, we did get out of that game in a 1-1 draw, so a couple draws here in a row, and and quite honestly, I, you know, as far as that game's concerned, not really sure that. Uh, a draw was the the outcome there that was deserved, but uh, not, we will take the one point nonetheless and move forward. But uh, it, you know, it was six shots to two, but I really dominated in possession. 
And my passing accuracy is just not very good in this formation. So, you know, that's again, I'll keep messing with formations till I find something uh, that I feel like is enabling me to, to move the ball around quickly and, and accurately. And I think a lot of it just comes down to spacing and, and what formations you're using that are going to give you the best uh, amount of spacing to get the ball around. So uh, we will jump back in to the third game of the episode and back to the BPL squad. And again, guys, if you're not aware, if you use two squads, it does keep your fitness up uh, in both squads. And this year, uh, there's quite a bit of an effect of the fitness level uh, on each player. So uh, make sure you're either using the fitness cards uh, or you're having at least two teams to rotate them in and out. And that, again, will keep your fitness up. So that's something to keep in mind as you're playing and building coins and, and creating teams. If anything, you want to try to have at least two teams that you can swap in and out. Um, but we will come up against a 4-4-2 side with Falcao and Checo up front uh, with Ashley Young and Valencia on the outside. So pretty, uh, pretty interesting combo there. And we haven't really come up against a 4-4-2 that often. I know there are some players that are having a lot of success with it. Uh, and, you know, I have, that's, I guess, one I haven't tried yet. But here again, another gift. We're like handing goals away and it's becoming increasingly frustrating. And that one, I mean, I was pushing the A button for power to try to throw it all the way out. And, you know, he just throws it 10 yards in front of him. And it was, uh, it was just frustrating. So uh, from there, we're down 1-0 pretty early in the 20th minute. And then here, a great one-two uh, from Falcao and Dicheco, and he's able to put that one away. So that puts us down 2 new. Still early in the game, though. It's a 22nd minute. But the way we're going right now in this formation, we're not getting a ton of opportunities. And you can see going into halftime, both sides with five shots and four on target. We had a very slight lead in time of possession. But in the second half, <clears throat> we were unable to get anything going again. And we will take the loss. So not a great episode as far as points attained. Uh, but we are still moving forward nonetheless in the division. And so we are, what, 1-2-1, one, and one, I believe, right now. So uh, hopefully we can move forward and not keep fiddling around and see see what else we can come up with as far as formations. There's been, uh, you know, I heard 4-3-3 three, three is very good as well as some other ones. So we'll try them out. But until then, guys, if you like, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you later.